Hey guys, welcome to North Coast Tactical. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Uh, I'm traveling again today, so I am going to show you guys exactly how I pack and the way that I pack and why I pack this way. So typically when I'm going out of town, the way that I pack for things, the way that I travel is very minimalistic. I try not to overpack. I try to just take the things that are essential, the things that I'm going to need while I'm traveling. So without further ado, let's go check out the way that I pack for a trip. Okay, so as far as bags go, this is probably my favorite to date as far as travel bags. And this is from a company called Goodfellow and Company. And one of the reasons why I love this bag so much is obviously because of the OD green and the coyote brown on the outside, but the inside is orange. Now, if you're a fan of this channel and you've been watching for a while, you know that I have an obsession with orange. So that immediately made this a bag that I had to have. Okay, let's start with the base layer. So I'm going to be gone for two days. So I am only packing one pair of pants. The other pair that I will have on will obviously be the ones I'm wearing right now. So only one pair of pants. This will be my bottom layer in my bag. All right, so this will go flat. just like that so the next thing that I'm taking is just two shirts one a little bit uh, nicer of a button-down and then one other t-shirt and then obviously the one that I have on and here is probably the biggest tip the biggest key that I can give anyone traveling and wants to stay minimal is to roll up your shirts, all of your other stuff um, that isn't like super giant bulky hoodies or jeans, things like that. Uh, roll it up like this and you'll fit way more. So these are going to go tucked away just like that. And we got tons of room. And so I'll do the same thing with undershirts. Those will go in there just like that. Underwear, same thing. And you can see how everything pretty much just lays flat together. Socks. Socks. Again, those will just go side here right here okay so then packing the stuff that isn't necessarily closed next I just have a small toiletry kit and that is in one of these like pencil cases with the clear front so I can see everything in it and again that'll just sit right on top just like that next I just have another orange bag uh, if you guys watched my range bag video you'll know that i love to compartmentalize with all of the other bags that i'm using so inside those bags i have other bags um so i mean even even in this bag i have another bag uh, this is for my uh, headphones so i'm going to be editing some videos while i'm down there traveling so uh, i figured that i might as well be able to listen through my headphones uh, so this bag will go, and it just has some chargers, uh, some batteries, and some headphones and stuff like that. So more electronic charging type stuff will go in here. And again, that just sits nice and flat in there. And that's pretty much it, guys. That uh, That's the whole bag with plenty of room to spare. So let's talk about other gear that I'm going to be taking on this trip. So, if you couldn't tell, I'm filming back on my old camera, the T6i, because my EOS R is packed in here. I'll be traveling with it in there. 
um, but I'll, I'll be shooting on this camera for the trip. I just wanted to show you guys the way that it will travel in its case back on the old camera, so that's why it might not look as good. Let's check out some of the gear in here. So this is my Haley Strategic Flat Pack. And I love this bag. This is my camera bag. This is one of my favorite bags that I own. Uh, mostly, again, because you guys know compartmentalize. These are Velcroed into there. Compartmentalize, pretty much pack them out however you want. Take them out. You can put different ones in. So if I wanted to use this for a range bag or survival bag, or you know just wanted to switch throughout the day uh, if I was doing different things, this is the bag to do it with because I can just buy more of these clear top packs and just undo the Velcro, put the new pack in, whatever I want it to be, and go. I don't have to change the bag, I just change the contents of the bag. So in there I've just got the lens and the camera body. Uh, over here we've just got some cleaning kits, some different cables, some audio stuff. Obviously I gotta have some orange in this bag uh, with the electrical tape. Just some lens cloths, different things like that. Over here, we've got our chiffon cable. We got our power bank, um, a notebook, and that just sits in one of those pencil cases that'll be tucked away in the back of here. More hardware. Again, if you guys haven't noticed that I like gray bags, so um, gray and orange is kind of my thing, but I do like OD green as well. So. Got my iPad Gen 6 here with the new magnetic cover on it. So that stores away in the front here. Right in this pocket. Just like that. So in the front pocket here, I keep my ND filter case. Uh, some step ring thing for macro lenses. Uh, for the the EOS R because it doesn't take the EF lenses it only takes the RF lenses so you need an adapter so I don't know if they call it a step step ring but adapter I guess is is what you would call it so that's in there and that is pretty much it along with uh, my memory cards which again will go in that front pocket I think you guys can see why they call this the flat pack. Everything just sits so flat on it. I love this bag. You can fit so much in it, and it just sits flat. And it actually expands to twice this on the main compartment and this small compartment as well to double the size of the bag if you need the extra space, which I really try not to. It feels way better to be back on this camera, way nicer. So we are getting packed, we are getting everything ready. I keep looking over here on the screen. But we're getting everything packed and ready to go. And I gotta get him this way. Yeah, right there. I gotta get him ready and then we can go. First step in the car, you're not coming with us. So let's go get Easton. Let's go. Come on, dude. We gotta go. Okay, so flash forward, we are in the hotel and now we are getting ready to leave the hotel because this place is disgusting and I'm not staying here. I'm not keeping my, my children here. Um, this place is gross. It like on the surface, like it doesn't look bad or whatever. You know, it's fine, it's, it's, it's not fine. So let's look at some of the things that when we got here, we've noticed. Okay, so let's check them out.
Look, there's a sock under there. Look, there's a literal sock under that's not ours. I'm not sure they know how to use that or any of this. That's what this place is. Trash. So what, what happened when you walked by? I walked by a room that was getting cleaned by whoever works at this place and the workers standing at the sink <laughs> spitting his loogie out with the door open. Then he like looks out and I don't... <laughs> Come on baby. Let's get out of here. <laughs>